Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. Uh, it's been about a week to two weeks since I recorded my last video. Um, I've been helping a lot of people pass their GED math, their GED math exam um, today, but I got a lot of questions um, about um, system of equations and word problems. So I do have a video, um, explicit system of equations, where they give you the equations and you have to solve the system of equations. I also want to go over some word problems. Usually you'll have one that's explicit, direct, and one that's a word problem. So I'm just going to do a couple um, so we can be aware of how to do or how to identify um, what's given in those word problems. So first of all, let's look at number one. Find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12. So sum means addition. So that's one of the things you want to take away from it. And difference is subtraction. So we got two numbers. So again, the uh, next thing you want to do is identify your variables. Okay, so I'm going to call X my first number. Oops, I don't know what just happened there. My first number, let me get my mouse together. And I'm going to call Y my second number. Okay, you want to identify your variables. So find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12. So remember, sum is addition. So x plus y equal 12. Their difference is 4. x minus y equal 4. What you should observe right away is that one of the variables already eliminate themselves. So if you notice, you have two opposite variables, a plus y and a minus y. So it's not for us to do. All we have to do is combine our equations. So we get x and x, which is 2x. Our y's cancel, equals 16. Divide both sides by 2. The 2's cancel, and we get x is equal to 8. So we have our first number, and we want to plug it into one of these equations. So 8 plus y equal 12. You should be able to see 8 plus 4, but let's do it algebraically. We're going to subtract 8 from both sides. We get y equal 4. Okay, nice, easy problem. They love a high set. Uh, if you're here and you're watching this video and you're going to be taking the high set, uh, um, the high set loves doing problems like these where you have two numbers. Um, GED loves using uh, ages, um, coins, different things, but I'm going to show you how to identify each problem. So let me save this. Let me clear the screen. Let's go to another one. I'm just going to pick, I'm going to pick these at random. Just picking these at random. I don't know. All right, let's look at number four. Okay. The school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket for a total of $38. The school took in $52 on the second day by giving three, by selling three senior citizen tickets and two child tickets. Find the price of a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. So first of all, what's given? Okay, well, what we know is on the first day, so three senior citizens one child ticket and a total of $38. Second thing we know is on the second day, they made $52 by selling three senior citizen tickets and two childhood, two child tickets. Now the question is find the price of a senior citizen ticket and a price of a child ticket. So they're unknown. So that's, those are gonna be our variables. So, so your senior citizen is gonna be our X. Price of a child ticket is our Y. Not hard at all, okay? What they're asking for, is the unknown. That's what you're gonna make your variables. Okay, so three senior citizen tickets. So we said X is our senior citizen. I'm just gonna say SC and Y is our child. So we're gonna to go to our, our, our given three senior citizen tickets. So that's three X plus one Y, 
We don't need the one in front of the Y because one child ticket equal $38. That's our first equation. Now, we got to get our second equation. They took in $52 on selling three senior citizen tickets. Again, that's 3X. Two child tickets, so plus 2Y equal 52. So now we have our system of equations. So remember, the one thing you want to do when you're solving a system of equations is to eliminate one of the variables. So what you should observe is in both equations, you have a term 3X. Well, the opposite of 3X is minus 3X. So all we have to do is multiply that second equation by negative 1. And basically, it has the effect of just changing the sign of everything inside. So we're going to bring this formula over. That stays exactly the same. And again, multiplying by negative 1 just changes the sign of everything on both sides of the equation. So we got minus 3x minus 2y equal minus 52. We want to combine our two equations. The 3x is canceled. We get minus y is equal to negative 14. Now again, multiplying by negative 1, we want to reverse the signs. So we get y equal 14. Well, what does y stand for? Well, we said over here, the child ticket is $14. Now, we want to take that 14, we're going to substitute it back in. Again, y is all by itself, so I'm just going to put it right with the y. I'm going to substitute that as y. So I'm gonna, even though I'm running out of room, so I'm going to put it down here. So we got 3x. Instead of y, we're going to put positive 14 equal 38. Okay. Again, this is a two-step equation. should be fairly easy for you. We're going to subtract 14 from both sides. We get 3x. I'm running out of room, so I'm bringing it over here. 3x, our 14s cancel, equal 38 minus 14 is 24. In order to get the x by itself, x is being multiplied by 3. The opposite of multiplication is division, so we're going to divide by 3. And whatever we do on one side, we do on the other. We want to balance, keep the balance of the equation. So the 3s cancel, we get x equal 8. So the price of a child's ticket, I mean, a senior citizen ticket is $8, and the price of a senior citizen ticket, no, I'm sorry, the, the price of a senior citizen ticket is $8, and the price of a child's ticket is $14. So th that was the second example I want you to be aware of. Again, these word problems with system of equations. But now, what I want you to understand also is when you have multiple choice answers, one of the easiest ways is just to plug those answers in until you solve both equations. So most of the time on the GED exam, they're going to have the values that solve the system of equations. Just plug them into both equations and make sure it stays true. That's the easiest way. You don't have to sweat system of equations, OK? It's not a whole lot that you're going to be responsible for. So understand two things. My first video shows you how to do explicit system of equations. These are word problems. So let's find another one. All right, let's look at number seven. That's nice and long. Let's look at it. The state fair, because what happens is people see paragraphs and they get nervous. They get upset. They start getting flustered. They start getting frustrated. Take a deep breath. What do I know? The state fair is a popular field trip destination. This year, the senior class at high school A and the senior class at high school B both plan trips there. The senior class at high school A rented and filled eight vans and eight buses with 240 students. High school B rented out and filled four vans and one bus with 54 students. Every van had the same number of students in it as did the buses. Find the number of students in each van and each bus. Okay, so again, identify what you know. So high school A has eight vans, eight buses, has two for 240 students. High school B has four vans and one bus for 54 students. So second thing you know, those are our equations, right? But I'm going to show you how we're going make to make those equations. Find a number of students in each van, 
Let's call that X. The number of students in each bus. Let's call that Y. So what they're asking us, the unknown, is going to be our variables. That tells you what our variables are. So we identify the information. So if we had eight vans, eight vans are filled with a certain amount of students, right? So what we're going to do, number of students in each van and number of so So X, so vans is eight times X plus eight times Y, because that's the number of students in the bus, equal 240. So look what we just did. Eight vans times the number of people in the bus, in the van, and then eight times the number of people in the van. 8X plus 8Y equal 240. Let's look at our second equation. Again, four vans, so four times X, because X is the number of students in each van, 4X, plus Y. Because you only got one bus. So one times Y, we don't, we don't write the coefficient um, in front of the variable when, we, when it's one. Equal 54. So we have our two system of equations. Now, unfortunately, you don't have two variables that cancel. You don't have an instance where you have the opposite or the same variable. So the first time we looked at it, remember the variables canceled each other out right from the beginning. Our second example, we had to multiply the, one of the equations by negative one. So change the sign, get one of the run of the variables. Because remember, our goal is to eliminate one other variable. Very easy. The opposite of 8x is minus 8x. So since we know that, what we're going to do is we have to make this second equation be minus 8x. So what are we going to have to multiply 4 by? A negative 2. And whatever we do to one side, we got to do on the other. So now, let's rewrite the first equation, 8x plus 8y equal 240. Let's rewrite the second equation, minus 8x minus 2y equal minus 108. So 2 times 4x minus 2 times y and minus 2 times 54. So we got negative 8x minus 2y equal minus 108. We now combine our equations. Our x is canceled. 8y minus 2y is 6y equal 240 minus 108. So that's 132. In order to get y by itself, we need to divide both sides by 6. Our 6 is canceled, and we get y equal 22. Okay, so 6 goes into 13 twice. We have one left over. 6 goes into 12 two times. So what is y? What is y telling us? Well, we said y was the number of students on each bus. Okay, so now we need to find the number of students on each van. So let's just plug it in. I'm going to use this second equation. Let me change the color. I'm going to use this second equation. Remember, you can use any equation. A system of equations it means you're solving what solution is when those two equations cross. So you can use either one of the equations. I'm going to use the second equation. It's much easier. I don't have to multiply, divide anything. So 4x plus 22 because we know what y is, equal 54. We subtract 22 from both sides. We get 4x, the 22's cancel, equal 32. Again, to get x by itself, the opposite of multiplication is division, so you're gonna divide by four on both sides. The four is cancels and we get x equal eight. So each van holds eight students, each bus, holds 22 students, okay? Now, you could plug it into both equations to make sure, listen, but what I'm going to tell you is, when you have a system of equations on your GED exam, they're gonna give you an explicit system of equation, and then a word problem will have the answers as the multiple choice. The easiest way is to identify X and Y, and then plug them in to the two equations and make sure they're both come out true. That's the easiest way. Um, so let me pause to see if I can find an example. Let me save this. 
Okay, so I found a problem. So I'm back, let's look at this problem. A jar containing only nickels and dimes contains a total of 60 coins. The value of the, uh, the value of all the coins is $4.45. Solve by elimination to find the number of nickels and dimes that are in the jar. So first of all, what you would have to do in order to solve this problem is you would have to first say, okay, well, X plus Y, so we're gonna call nickels and dimes. X plus Y equals 60, okay? And then the next thing we know, so each nickel is five cent, each dime is 10 cent. So nickels is 0 0.05 times X plus 0 0.10 times Y is 445. Look at that problem, okay? Listen, don't sweat it. You don't have to pull your hair out to find the system of equations because they gave you the multiple choice. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the multiple choice in. So you're going to grab your calculator. Listen to what I'm saying. You don't have to sweat this. You're going to grab our calculator. And we're going to two type them in. We know 30 plus 30 is 60, 31. So we know the first equation is correct, that both of those are going to add up to 60 coins. Now, so we're going to use the second equation and just plug them in. So we're going to say, OK, the numbers nickels is x the number dimes is y. So 0 0.05 times 30 plus 0.1 times 30. If we get 445, we're done. We did not get 445. We got 450. So again, we're going to go back up into our formula, press enter, and we're going to change that 30 to 31. We're going to change that 30 to 29. And we're going to do this for each multiple choice until we get our answer. Four, four, $4.44. Cent. We are done. Easy. So you have to set up your two equations. But then you use your multiple choice. We're done. Just plug each value in until it satisfies the equation. Now, that's my video uh, for system of equations word problems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out my website, passgedmath.com. Now, I'm also, uh, very soon, I'll be releasing a full-fledged online course to help you pass your GED. It has practice tests. It has practice. It has adaptive practice. It has, it has so much. It has notes. It has videos. A one-stop shop for you to pass your GED. So make sure you pass, make sure you go to passgedmath.com. Make sure you pick up that ebook so you can have full access to this free online course. Again, so make sure you check out my website, passgedmath.com. Have a, a, a ebook um, on sale for $19.99. Make sure you check at the end of this video, you'll see a discount code. That discount code will give you a discount for that ebook, which would allow you information to, to access the free online course. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you soon.